everyone welcome back to amazing women's world if you are watching for the first time please hit the subscribe button to watch latest videos of fashions and trends also tap the bell button for future notifications so that you won't miss any of my upcoming videos appreciated for subscribing hello friends this is specially requested video to narrate in english for this long gathered slit kurti or the making of the gorgeous maxi dress so let's quickly start with this project and you can try this with any types of fabrics wherein which this type of patterns is very much trending now i'll be transforming this old saree to create that new pattern so this is cotton block printed saree I have trimmed 2 meters for the preparation of this skirt that means bottom part the width of this skirt would be calculated as 2 times of your hip length also I add 5 inches for the seaming elements the length is from the waist length to the ankle length which is of 41 inches in length using this dory strings for the preparation of the loops and some straight strips for concealing and one broader strip which is of 2 inches and the length would be from the shoulder line to just below the hip line approximately of 30 inches a normal sleeve pattern designing the sleeve ends with the tissue gold this is the normal bodice of both front and back trimmed accordingly to my measurements from the shoulder to the waist length i left the neckline part because we have to design for the collar if you see here the bodice length would be around 16 inches now i'll show you how to draft for the neckline for this neckline we'll prepare the mandarin collar so for the back neck 1 inch neck deep connect with the curved line to the neckline also give 1 cm seaming allowance and cut now on this marked dotted lines Now I'll show you how to mark for the front neckline. The neck tip would be of three inches with zero neckline. Also give one centimeter seaming allowance all around the neckline. Now start cutting on the marked lines. Now in the center, mark half an inch. Also mark the neck tip of three inches, so that will mark in the V shape like this for the easy draping. Now I'll cut on this V shape and also I'll give the slit till the waistline. This is how our front panel would look. Now I'll align both front and back, laying it right on right. We'll join the shoulder line. Now with this story strings, I would cut two inches for the preparation of the loops. You may require fifteen to twenty loops in the joining of the center. I am ready with the loops. Let's start sewing. Firstly, we'll 
Design the sleeve ends. Place the gold tissue border right side on the wrong side of the sleeve end and start joining. Now turn this gold tissue border towards right side. Also turn underneath seaming elements towards the gold tissue and give the top stitch. We will also conceal on the top side of the gold tissue, fold quarter inch in and give the top stitch. So this is how the sleeve end will be designed. Now I will align the shoulders of front and back and start sewing. With quarter inch seaming element start sewing. See here, I've joined the shoulders. Now I'll align the sleeves with the armhole, placing it right on right. Start sewing, joining the sleeve with the armhole. Follow the same instructions and join another side sleeve with the bodies. I'm almost done with the bodies. Now I'll show you how to draft for the darts. Measure the distance between the two apex points and should be divided by 2. So the distance here is 8 inches which is divided by 2. Here it comes 4 inches. So from the center slit mark for 4 inches on either sides of the front bodies and also from the waistline to the chest line mark 4 inches and give the dart like how I am showing. Also follow the same for the back panel darts. I have given the darts. Now I'll join the sides of the sleeve and the bodies.
if you have given the perfect alignment of the bodice and the sleeve with the perfect cuttings see here how perfectly the bodice is joined with the sleeve without any regular shapes see the white side is the sleeve part and the printed side is the bodice part this is how the perfection will visible once you have done with the perfect markings and cuttings I'm almost done with this bodice let's join the skirt part the bottom hemline of the skirt I have concealed and the top layer I left because we'll join this with the waistline of the bodice now give the basting stitch on the skirt part top side and start pulling the bobbin thread to make the gathers the alignment of the skirt waistline and the bodice waistline should be equal so pull the gathers in the center and spread it equally now i'll align the skirt gathers with the bodies placing it right on right start joining from the center slit of the front panel Ensure underneath gathers has been spreaded equally. If you are not comfortable the joining of the gathers with the bodice you can also secure with the pins for the easy alignment So I have reached the other side and this is how the bodice part would look with the gather skirt with the long slit from the neckline to the hemline. Now let's start concealing all the raw edges of this maxi dress. Now we'll require the loops and the fabric buttons. and some straight strips of the length from the neckline to the bottom hemline now if you see here 
I'll place the strip on the right side of the front slit like this and let's start concealing the front slit towards right side of the front slit I'll be joining the loops for that from the neckline leave 2 inches and with the gap of 1 and of inches give the markings for the joining of the loops this should be from the neckline to below hemline of around 30 inches if you clearly see here on the top I left 2 inches and given the markings of 1 and of inches now place the right side of the strip on the center slit of the bodies now place the loops on the marked lines and give the double stitches you can see here ensure all the rods should face each other Now reaching to the required length, once you have joined all the loops, start continue sewing till the hemline, joining the strip with the center slit of the maxi dress. Fold a little of the strip and conceal till the hemline now turn this strip towards wrong side and give the top stitch Now I'll conceal the raw edge of the strip, folding a little in, give the top stitch. Do concentrate on the neat finishings and the clean work. Because this is the slitted maxi dress, the front bottom part will have the long slit. See, I've done with the right side front bodies. I said we'll also require 2 inches broader strip. I've given the exact marking in the center with the straight line. Now I'll place the strip underneath these loops like this and I'll give the top stitch. Place it exactly on the marked line. On the top of the center front, leave nearly 2 inches and start joining. This strip would be of the length 30 inches. Now 
this is to close the center slit to a little part just below the hip length now I'll conceal the another side that means left side of the center slit placing the strip on the right side start sewing as I'll join the buttons on the top so we'll just conceal with the strip Now turn the strip towards wrong side and give the top stitch. We'll also conceal the raw edge of the strip folding a little in and give the top stitch. I'm almost done with this center slit. So this is how it looks. Now I'll prepare for the collar. Let's start measuring the length of the neckline. Start measuring from the center slit. Run the tape all around the neckline from center front to center back again to center front. So the total neckline is of 18.75 inches. I'm using this interfacing folded into two layers and I've given the margin line and as this is on fold we have to mark half of the neck length which is of 9.35 inches. From that point mark towards upside 3 4th inch. And from the fold mark nearly 3 inches from this point to marked point of the open end will connect with the curved line the length of the collar is 1 inch mark 1 inch on that curved line till the center fold Join all the dotted lines. Also once we will measure the length of the neckline. This is because we have moved a little on the top. There might be the slight variation in the length. So to get the perfect neckline we have to give the perfect length of the neck now I'll cut on this marked shape like this I'll place the glue side on the fabric and get pressed well see I'm ready with the two strips of the collar 
also left the seaming allowances of 1 cm all sides of the strips. Now place the strips right on right and start sewing just adjacent to the interfacing leaving the bottom part of the collar folded like this because the bottom part will join with the neckline of the bodies. Give the slit trim of the extras turn towards right side and again give the press on this collar. Now let's start inserting the body's neckline into this collar like this with the 1 cm seaming allowance inserting in hold all three together like this and give the top stitch do not stretch or pull the neckline when you are sewing just run it friendly placing in like this So I have reached another side of the collar, give the double stitch to secure. See how neatly the neckline has been assembled with this bodice. Now I will give the top stitch on the top of this collar. I am done with the complete sewing part. Let's give the markings for the buttons where we have joined for the loops. And I will also leave on the top of the bodies 2 inches. Now I will join the left side body center slit underneath with the strip giving the top stitch. From here to bottom hemline, we we'll leave for the long slit. And now on the marked lines, I'd be joining this button, giving the hand stitch, and this is how the final outcome would look. This type of designer patterns you can try with any types of fabrics, such as swirling fabrics. Sure, will be the perfect outfit for any occasion. For the pleasant, gorgeous appeal, this type of long slitted dresses is very much trending now. Try it. See how beautifully and neatly it's been done. I've shown the complete detailed designer pattern of the slitted maxi dress or the long slit kurti. Following the same instructions, you can create for any age groups marking with your own measurements. So please try, like and share. And leave your comments and suggestions on this pattern. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. the latest updates to follow me in my social media instagram and facebook thank you so much for watching this is radha signing off meet your friends with another interesting video
Bye bye. Love you all. Take care. See how neatly the neckline has.